It's your biblical question that someone posed the other day. In the big flood, what happened to all the freshwater fish? Doing a, doing a freshwater fish. Well, what happened to all the fish? <laughs> there is you know? salt. The first, the water. There's so much is, more salt water. The water is all salt. Right. And the water in that uh, uh, mountain, Sahara Desert, there are stacks and stacks of salt. You cannot destroy water. And if you could destroy water, the desert over there will make the water replace what we could destroy. You can't destroy it. You drink it, it come out. You bathe with it, go down, it come right back again. Then it rain right back down on you again. You cannot destroy water. If it was, they've been on destroy water. Lies, that's the totally Well, the peninsula like the ocean, doing high tide, full moon. The moon is really something. It helps the ocean because it's got the electric in it, which is pulling the waves in. There's electric in everything. And the ocean, which is all the big salt water, like people say, boy, we got a shortage of water. But I don't know how you can do it. There's no way you can destroy water. The same amount of water was on here on this earth a million years ago. It's still here today. It might be more people, but the same amount of water is here. You can't destroy water. And if you could destroy water, over there in Africa, in the Sahara Desert, the salt mines, when it melted it down, it's water again. If we could destroy it, but you can't destroy water. You can't destroy water, and you can't destroy sand. It will always be here. We're making our water bad everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know that, you heard about that uh, nuclear plant yeah, in Miami and they're not even talking about it. Yeah, before. the one that they're trying to just screw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I don't know if it's Who posted that? Creole? Is it Creole? Somebody yeah, posted it. Creole. I don't know. I know somebody's yeah. trying to do What are they doing? The town it's uh, because I won't want to go with you. I want to do it. Like the coconuts now. Yeah. You go and you got a coconut from Miami. It's one big, so. huge Oh, yeah, I see it. Not Miami. Yes, Miami. Big coconut. You'll get an eight ounce glass of water out of the coconut. You got them from Thailand, you got a cup of water. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't taste like anything. But that's what that's what I want. But they radiant. You want one of those? Mm -hmm. I don't understand why they even sell Thai coconuts here. But they're all the way over well, here. Well, now they're. They're screwed up. They're they're they used to be a trendy coconut. thing. If they leave the baby coconuts Thai coconuts together or something, on the tree, mm -hmm. then it'll I make it all. If they leave things alone. Mm -hmm. okay. But they're screwing up the whole year. Thank you. Right. I'm glad I know what I know. But they can't screw me up with that stuff. But you know. What'd you do with my water? Your water? My coconut water. I drank this all gone. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. Because I, mean, I, I saw you walking in with the whole thing. My coconut water. I said, where you going? I said, I wasn't bringing that in. <laughs> you know what? You go in there. And you know what? Before I was in, I was in Brazil, the coconuts, when you drink just the water, it give you energy. i never seen nothing like it before. The people are so stupid in Brazil that they got apricots. I mean, huge coconuts, bananas. They walk to the store and buy when it's growing wild. Mm -hmm. oh, you're good again. oh, yeah. That's the way of the world these days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotta buy a bar of orange in the grocery Coconut water is just so good for mm -hmm. you. You know they used to use a blood transfusion. Yeah, coconut water. Coconut water. Yeah, coconut water. Oh, yeah. It's that yeah. nourishing. Yeah, that'd be awesome. What kind of water are you drinking? Well, it's water, but I put some like echinacea root in there and um, okay. just a burdock. And, yeah, burdock and. Um, uh, no, Spanish needle. Spanish needle bite it. Can you get any coconut uh, water? No, I probably need to flush my body with some coconut yeah, water to flush this infection okay. out. I don't know you what they call anything that uh, that that aloe plant, the bitter one, not the one they use for burns. That'll freak the system out. Really. I got, I got no, three big leaves that come out. Oh, not the aloe vera. It ain't gonna do it. I ain't know you're not gonna dry. What about right the plant that you gave me in the back that I got growing? That'll do it. If it's, if it's real bitter, it'll do it. You, you, you gave it to me That's from fine. your house. It's <laughs> in my backyard. Yeah. 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 If it's from real bitter. Remember the one you dug up? I can't remember that. We had a few. Yeah, from the farm. Drive like that. Wait. No, you just put it in the water and it'll pick it up. Yeah, you use and the skin. And then it's extremely <laughs> bitter. Yeah, the yeah, no, because that skin you can be irritating. The skin make I can't. Poop. Okay. The skin messes my stomach up. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's harsh. Yeah, the gel's good. Like so I usually I, just, I do just, do just got it. So I got the gel is for burns and people that has uh, pretty good burning in the stomach. Yeah, that's why I don't use the skin. It really, no. Because of my gastritis, yeah.
I don't use the skin. I'll tell you what, it I was me. cooking up that aloe, blending it in water, and um, doing a slow, a low uh, simmer on it for 30 minutes, and then putting raw honey. After you can't, I you can't, meat. well, you can't cook aloe at all. <laughs> One thing, the way to use aloe, you have to cut it right then and use it. Yeah. Yeah. Once you put it with water, you got to drink it right then. But if you try to, that's really nice how to set it in the store because really it's nothing. It goes yeah, away. I, I think 30 minutes after it's been cut, it has no value. Yeah. Godfather, you can fry it low. Huh? Yeah, you can, you can fry it. it. No, you can't fry it low. No. no. It, I'm saying. telling you now, you, you can't fry it low. It's, it's no good. <laughs> Unless you just eat it to be eating it. Yeah, yeah it's good. Eat it. <laughs> No. That aloe behind you is like the real, the real, the stuff. I've had the uh, horticulture at the University of Not Far down. There, down there's the there's like variety. a ton of varieties of aloe. Yeah, so many. This is a bamboo here that we have, and it's very good for detoxification. You can take this bamboo and make a, burn the uh, joints of it and make a charcoal out of it. And the charcoal is good for cleaning your system, getting rid of all toxin and poison. Very good for that. On the side, I have mugwort down here, which mugwort is very good for uh, teas, for parasite in the system. It should be about three foot tall now, but somehow in the cold, the heat has cut it down where it's not growing like it should. And here we have the Marengo tree. I know you're familiar with that. This is good for your whole body. Very good, Marengo. It comes here from India and Africa. And it grows the big leaves that grows out on it. You make the tea out of those, and it's good for your system. I happen to get two of these growing, and uh, they'll be, the farther we get into the summer, the stronger they will get. What part of the system is that tree good yeah. for? The uh, leaves here is good for cleaning your whole system out. So like a detox? A detox. Very good for detox. Yes, and you just use this alone with nothing else with it. Like most herbs, you have to put others with it. Just use it as it is. Okay. And real coconut water should stain. If you get it on your clothes, yeah, it should stain. stain it. Like yeah. if you wear a white shirt, you don't see it, but when you wash it, it comes out. That it'll, it'll have a brown it. stain on it. That's well, real coconut water. And it probably okay. makes kerosene. Yeah. I have to say it tastes good. I'm just, I'm just wondering where the rest of it is. But you know what? Yeah, yeah. it's gone. It's you guys gone. have real coconut water today? Yeah, we had coconut water. I don't know what he did with my water. <laughs> it's in there. It could be yeah, in there somewhere. <laughs> but we had the pure water. We had the alkali water today. And we had, uh, that's all we had, we came up here. Yeah, I haven't had anything else. I had coconut water. But you know what? If these, when these <laughs> people... Just ignore it. <laughs> what about lakes? I mean, we've heard about lakes, like for instance, the St. John River. Um, the St. John River is the only river that flows north in our area. But wherever you go, there's one river that flows north. And if you follow it down, it's just like our body, our main artery because the electric in the river, the electric in our body, and the electric is in everything. If it's not there, it's not here. So it's I, I like to work with a lot of uh, trees and electric and different things. In fact, I like to take water, like a bottle of water. I use rain water, and I like to dig me a hole and put it by the tree. And somehow the trees smile just from that, for they love water. And sometimes we're having a drought, they have enough energy within them to go through the drought. And if you ever notice that plants will tell you, when I don't care how long you've been sitting there with no water, when time comes for, uh, for water, then it starts sprouting up, looking lively. <laughs>